Well, the Senate kicks starting its lame duck session with a long to do list. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he wants to pass more coronavirus relief and a new package of spending bills before the end of the year. Chad Pergram live for us on Capitol Hill. And Chad, what can we expect exactly in the weeks ahead? You know, sometimes it's easier to get things done during a lame duck Congress. Sometimes it's harder. Now, Mitch McConnell has made no bones about it that he wants to do another coronavirus bill, something that's smaller. He's in the driver's seat right now. He may prefer to get something done under the Trump administration rather than wait until January. And one senator who has long wanted a smaller coronavirus bill is Republican Mitt Romney of Utah. Conservative principles are still on the ascendancy in this country. I don't think America wants to sign up for the Green New Deal or getting rid of coal and oil and gas uh, or Medicare for all. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi had taken the lead in coronavirus talks. She negotiated on a daily basis with the Secretary of the Treasury, Steve Mnuchin, on a larger $2.2 trillion bill. McConnell wants something more targeted, especially after a good jobs figure on Friday. With Democratic losses in the House, there are questions as to whether Pelosi would take a smaller deal. No, no, it doesn't appeal to me at all because they still have not agreed to crush the virus. If you don't crush the virus, we're still going to have to be dealing with the consequences of the virus. Now, here's what they do have to do. They have to fund the government. The deadline there is December 11th. They also have to wrestle with the debt ceiling, either raising it or suspending it. And they also have to deal with the defense authorization bill. Trace? Just curious, Chad, a lot of buzz on Capitol Hill about the working relationship between Joe Biden and Mitch McConnell. Yeah, you know, they actually were pretty good friends. And there was a very striking moment in late December 2016 where Mitch McConnell renamed part of the 21st Century Cures Act after Bo Biden, not Hunter Biden. Of course, we've heard a lot about him, but Bo Biden, who succumbed to cancer here. There is a cordial relationship. And I checked in earlier today to ask if Mitch McConnell had had any outreach to the Biden campaign, to the Biden transition team, and they don't have anything just yet. Chad Pergram, live for us on Capitol Hill. Chad, thank you.